you'll always you got it you know that you got it baby take the moment you got it hey girl welcome to this week's weekly vlog today is sunday if you saw last week's vlog you know that i'm just continuing the vlog today i decided to just kind of continue i've never done that before but yeah that's what we're doing anyways i got dressed up i'm wearing this set from zara a turtleneck and the pants which are a little too short but i'm about to go run a couple errands this week my kids and johnny go back to school so i need to get like snacks and other things we also need to figure out dinner all that stuff today i'm wearing this perfume this is a la rose i've been wearing it non-stop since i got it for my birthday it smells delicious and then i'm wearing this on my arms and my hands the uh butter from 54 thrones i'm waiting for my phone to charge a little bit more because i didn't charge it last night so i was sitting on the charger just trying to get some juice and then once we have like 10 percent, i can charge it some more in the car pretty late in the day it's already three o'clock so i definitely want to get going because i've kind of not been procrastinating but i've been editing all morning and I was kind of doing it leisurely and I hate when I do that. Sometimes I have a good editing day where I'm editing and I'm like getting stuff done. And then other days I'll be editing, but I'll also be like doing other stuff. And that's what I was doing today. So that's why it's so late, which is annoying. Anyway, I need to do Callie's hair later. I should have taken her to the dry bar again, but I forgot to blow her hair out. Well, comb it out because I don't like to just take her there without it being detangled. So I think I'm going to do it myself today. And I also need to give her a trim. So... I think I'm gonna do that myself. Um, yeah, so we're in for a long day, okay? <laughs> she has a lot of hair, lots of hair, not like me, okay? Oh, by the way, on that video that I uploaded, my 70 pound weight loss, talking about body image and body, you know, thank you guys so much for all the comments and a lot of you guys can relate. And I was really happy to see that because that was the whole point of me doing that video because I've gotten so many questions, a lot of DMs about this stuff because people don't know if I feel comfortable about it. So I feel like a lot of people have been DMing me about that, those questions. Um, one of the things I forgot to mention, because I was thinking more of physical body and not so much hair, I was not even thinking about hair, but um, people have asked me about hair loss. Now, my answer is very i'm not sure if it's directly related to being on wegovy or if it's a weight loss thing or if it's a pcos thing because i have all three situations and all three of these things can um have hair loss as a side effect so my hair has always been thin i always talk about this like my hair is thin my hair is thin uh my hair is falling off my head and this has been going on off and on for a while like I remember I think a few years ago I was talking about my hair falling off in the shower and blah 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 so um my hair has gotten thinner like it well not thinner my hair has I have lost hair in like this section of my head mostly like right here and so I don't know if it's from Wegovy because people were asking if it's from Wegovy like I can't tell you that it's from that because it's been going on for me for years at this point. Um, I feel like my mid to late 20s, I really started noticing this. And so I don't know. Like, I really don't know. Weight loss, rapid weight loss does have hair loss as a side effect as well. So it could be like adding in a little bit more hair loss. Um... So I think all three factors for me, and I have PCOS, like I said. So PCOS definitely contributes to hair loss. A lot of people experience that with PCOS, and I have. And um, yeah, so my answer is not really straight. <laughs> I genuinely don't know, but I have experienced it. I just don't know what, if it was a combination of all three or if it was one or the other. I can't pinpoint. Since it's been going on for me, I'm going to say it's a combination of all three because it's been my reality for some time now so that's that for me personally i have been trying the vegamore hair drops so i have been trying those i've had a sew-in since i think october or september maybe october i've got my i got i got <laughs> i got a sew-in in october then i took it out and i got another sew-in uh i think January late January 
so i haven't worn my hair out much when i took out the last sew-in i felt like my hair was still thin i had lost some hair but it wasn't as it wasn't a significant amount it was the same amount that i normally see when i take my hair down so i don't know y'all i am very i'm unsure um yeah i will say that i do want to add in some things for hair growth so i do use the oil like i said not the oil it's like a serum and then i also just found this hair frequency comb on amazon well i heard about it so i may get that as well i'm always scared to take oral hair growth stuff because i have excess hair growth from pcos on my chin i have like excess ones that grow so like i'm scared to take anything orally because i don't want it to grow all my hairs i okay bobby like i see you <laughs> anyways um i don't want it to grow all my hairs i want it to focus on my head so i'm scared to take anything orally so maybe the little comb can help because it'll be on my directly on my scalp so i think i'm gonna try that and i also have been doing scalp massaging which i need to get more consistent with i definitely need to work on that but that's my hair situation and that's the only thing i didn't mention because i was thinking more like physical body when i film when i sat down to film anyways let me get my phone and get my bag see if johnny wants to go and i'll ttyl <sighs> all right y'all so i'm off to um get some groceries even though i really don't want to leave the house right now my video is still exporting while well, processing. Hopefully it's done by the time I get back home because that would not be good if it's not um, finished exporting. So yeah, we're going to go do some groceries real quick. I have my bags. I brought my bags today. Didn't forget them. Oh, Callie's with us, by the way. Back home, let's do a quick grocery haul from Whole Foods. We got some white strawberries, some green grapes. I got these for, these I got for my little charcuterie I'm gonna have later. Maybe a couple of these as well. And then I got some blueberries. These, we got some French mini beignets. I think that's how you say it, I'm not sure. I got some vanilla oat milk. I got this pasta sauce. This is the spread. I got this spread for the charcuterie. I got a bunch of potatoes and then also some sweet potatoes over here. I got the toast, containers of corn, some cheese for the uh, charcuterie. I got this. I'm going to make some curried chicken for the week. Some beans. I got these, which I got last time for the charcuterie and I really liked it. Cereal, some apples. Kelly wanted cornbread, y'all. Got some kidney beans. Then I got chicken breast and this package of chicken thighs. A little later, I'm about to take off my makeup and get ready for bed. I'm using these to take off my makeup. I got these um, last week when we went to the city. I went to the Mac store. I picked up these and I got a couple powders, which I didn't show you guys yet, but one of them is right here. I got the wrong shade, but this is the mineralized skin finish. Here. This shade is nice for like around my face, the perimeter, but I need another shade. I think I need just dark for the center of my face. I got this powder. I haven't had this powder in ages. This is actually one of my first powders when I went to college. My mom had taken me to the Mac store and we got a bunch of stuff for makeup. And I got this for the first time back then. It was a different package. I think the top was like see through. But yeah. The MAC wipes are definitely some of the most wet wipes. Like, I feel like they have a lot of moisture. So I don't have to pull my skin as much. Also, I put myself on the subscription for the Queen Skin Club. But I don't know what happened. Because I haven't gotten any, <laughs> any of the refills. So I don't know if I did the wrong subscription. I'm going to go... I'm gonna need to go check Amazon because I feel like I probably um, didn't put the right schedule. Maybe I did three months, I don't know. I need to put it on monthly because, yeah. Anyways, you guys, I had dinner, I had Brussels sprouts, chicken, and I am so full. Brussels sprouts really just fill me up. I feel like because they're so, um, 
what the word for those vegetables like Brussels sprouts and uh, broccoli. I actually have Pilates tomorrow. Usually I schedule my classes for Fridays, but last week I couldn't go because we wanted to do some stuff with the kids and I didn't really want to, you know, I wanted to just free up my day. So I canceled my class last week and I put it for Monday. So I have Pilates tomorrow, which I need to like kind of schedule my day around. And then I also have a class on Friday, but I want to reschedule Friday's class to Thursday. So that way I could have my Friday free. And then I'm going to reschedule my other credit for the next week, if that makes sense. Because I have like credits for the month. And then I think I'm going to go to the regular gym on Tuesday and Wednesday. Because I haven't been to the gym. Last week I didn't have a traditional workout, but I did do a couple walks. So walking is always good though. I feel like walking is an underrated workout. It gets you know the blood going it feels good and if you walk enough you'll get a lot of steps in and it's always good by the way my lashes have been holding up really really well um i think i mentioned to you guys the last place i was going i felt like they were coming off quicker than they usually did I'm gonna use this tonight for hydration. Some good, good loving. Oh, I'm gonna go take my vitamins. Good morning, and I'm getting ready for Pilates, actually. Mm, I'm gonna wear this. I'm gonna use this sunscreen. I can't find the other one right now. Oh, that expires next month. <laughs> um, I almost missed my class because I thought it was at one o'clock, but it's really at 11. <laughs> and so I'm trying to like, I'm trying to really hurry up right now. I'm throwing a little concealer. I'm not sure if I'm gonna run any errands after, so gonna do this just in case i don't really sweat so much in pilates so i feel like this should be fine i'm gonna test this on my forehead the um the sunscreen kind of acts like a grip this used to be my routine when i worked in the um in the clinic i used to just wear sunscreen a lot of the times with a powder over it and the kosas powder was like my go-to i forgot all about that powder i need to get a new one the kosas powder was one of my go-to powders for this like everyday look i just left class it was really good like she had us working today i had a different instructor because I haven't done Monday class yet. So this instructor was actually the one I think I did for the intro class. But she worked us. Okay, I'm going to try to get more. I'm going to try to get into more of her classes. Because I think that she. I felt like I was over here talking about earlier. I was saying how I don't really sweat. <laughs> I was literally on the verge of sweating. Like it was a workout workout. Like I felt like whoa. So anyways, I'm going to go to. Harry spaghetti. I want to get something to drink and probably, I don't know if I'll get something to eat there, but definitely something to drink because I haven't really eaten anything today. I kind of want to go to Target, but I forget what I need. I need something from Target, you guys, but I literally cannot remember. Like over the weekend, I was telling Johnny that I was going to get something from Target and I literally cannot remember what it is. I wonder if he remembers. Probably not because he won't be remembering anything. <laughs> just got home i didn't end up going to target because i literally cannot remember what i needed i know as soon as i step in the house i'm gonna remember which is ridiculous but <laughs> hopefully hopefully it wasn't too important i need to go take a shower work on some content 
and um I kind of want to get a second workout in like a weight training workout so I'm not sure if I should just go right to the gym I'm not sure I feel like I should probably just go right to the gym but maybe we'll do that tomorrow I don't know I still have energy especially after drinking this coffee I have like even more energy so mm. yeah Chicken is cooked and the potatoes and the potatoes. Yum. And you have to, the factory that put the government on that car, the factory is now you that put this shit in your mind. You gotta take that off. You've made it in life. I'm here to tell you that you always have to find more. Greatness is not something that if you meet it once, it stays with you forever. This may sound appealing, but will require everything you have to give and then some. That's what it takes to become a true overachiever. And if you are already surrounded by people who are at the top of their game, what are you going to do differently to stand out? Good morning. It's Wednesday. I'm actually about to head out the house, but I wanted to show you guys my stuff from Secret first. I want to actually try a little bit of the leave-in conditioner on my edges but this is the little um uh what do you call this postcard thing that came with the package i thought it was so nice i love the um picture on here and then this is the back so i picked up the shampoo this is the hydrating line i got this i really really want to try this really soon so maybe i'll do like something with it soon <laughs> I did film a full hair video, like sewing video, like three weeks ago at this point. Um, it was early in the month, but I never uploaded it because I was supposed, well, because I'm also working with a brand on something similar, so I didn't want to put out both videos thinking they would be back to back, but the brand video is taking a little longer <laughs> than I anticipated. At this point, I'm kind of like, well, I should have just uploaded that video because it's you know but what i think i'll do is actually try these products and do my routine with these products instead so anyways i picked up the moisture sealing lotion as well this is what that looks like so this bottle is round and then this one is like a different flat top i like the different shapes then i got the deep conditioner i really wanted the regular conditioner as well but they were sold out of the hydration one well it's not available yet i guess so this is what i got for now i had to get the oil i love a nice hair oil but also the packaging of this oil is what really drew me to this entire collection it just looks so nice so this is the hair oil i think the packaging is so pretty similar to this top but a little different i love how different everything is but still cohesive I really just wanted to add some of this moisture sealing lotion. Ooh. Moisture sealing lotion to my hair. I love that it doesn't stay white. Like once you comb it into your hair, it actually just blends right in without your hair being wet. It smells so good. 
first impression i'm really loving everything so i'm gonna keep using these products because obviously you can't tell from the first time you use a hair product but you can see like the smell i guess the texture um how it looks initially because honestly there's some hair products you put them on the first day you're like oh no that's not it these so far the first two i tried i really like so i'm gonna put this on I wanted to pick up some fresh eucalyptus because we're installing a new shower head. My dad is installing it. I got the Jolie shower head. They sent it to me, so I'm so excited. But basically, it has a filter system and it's going to help with like hair and just body overall. I think it's going to install that while I'm out. I also wanted to stop by Anthropology. I have a birthday coupon for February and today is the 28th. So I wanted to see if there's anything in there that I want because today would be the last day to use it. I think, or maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow is the 29th, right? Yeah, there's 29 days this year. Um, but I, since I'll be in the area, I might just stop there today. Maybe we'll stop at Ulta because I also have a birthday coupon that I need to use. Ulta had like a lot of birthday perks. Like they have a coupon. They have a um, free gift. I forget what. Oh, I got a Kopari little lotion, which I really like. And they have like a $10 off coupon. So I was like, wait, I'm going to go. I th hopefully it's not ten dollars off of like fifty or something crazy like that. And I need to get coffee because I haven't had any coffee yet. So I need to figure out where we're gonna get coffee from. What is this? Is it focus on the steering wheel? <laughs> I need to figure out where I'm gonna get coffee from. Of course, I forgot my shopping bags. But what's new? <laughs> All right, let's go. Got my eucalyptus. I also got my coffee at Whole Foods. It's actually really really good. I got a vanilla honey ice latte. It's so good. So we're gonna go to Anthro real quick and then from there we'll go to Ulta. got in the house this is what i picked up from whole foods i got the eucalyptus i ended up getting this size leaf because they didn't have the other style this smells really good though so i'm excited to hang it up this coffee is actually really really good is it get a latte i really love this it tastes so good i did switch out the straw because it came with a paper straw and i hate those so i just put in one of my own straws and i went to ulta I got this kale caesar chopped kit from whole foods we're gonna have this for dinner with um some other oh i gotta put the chicken out hold on i gotta put this out so this here at ulta i went to go redeem my birthday coupon today was the yes tomorrow is the last day to use it but i got this spray sun glaze sheer body mist I'm going to try it out and see how I like it. Uh, I think I'm going to love it, to be honest. It's a very sheer glow. I have some in my hand, and you can kind of see it's glowy a little bit. So I'm going to try it on my body and see how I like it. And then from Anthro, I got this top. I had been eyeing this top. So I decided to pick it up today with my birthday coupon. I had 20% off at Anthro. So yeah, it's so cute. It's from the brand... Maeve, Miev. They have really cute clothes at Anthro. Apology. And this is kind of what it looks like. I think I showed you all this in the store in one of my vlogs because I really, really liked it. So this is cute. I have an event maybe next week. If I decide to go, I can wear this. All right, y'all. I need to get my life. So I will talk to y'all in a second. I just checked my email and my Sephora order that I placed on Sunday is here. So I'm going to go get it. Johnny had given me a Sephora gift card for Valentine's Day and I just started using it 
on Sunday, I ordered something. I've been waiting to see if there was anything that I really wanted to try. And I finally found some stuff that I wanted to try. So let's go get the box. Actually, I want to see if my... <gasps> he put it up. He put it up. Okay, so this is the shower hair that I got from Jolie. I got a black because my bathroom does have black accents. And I felt like it would go with this tile, which I hate. But... <sighs> It's a work in progress, y'all. I do have plans to redo this bathroom. It's just not on the top of my to-do list right now because it's very pricey. What I want is very pricey. It has filters. I'm gonna have to read the instructions, but basically it has filters somewhere in there. I don't know if he put them. I don't know what he did. I know it has filters somewhere, but this looks really nice. Let's turn it on. Ooh, I love the stream. It feels good. I'm actually gonna put my sacred stuff right on this shelf for now. I think that would be a cute display. I really love this. I need to put something in this corner over here, but I think this looks really nice. It's right here. Okay. Okay. I got the box. Okay, we're gonna open this over here. I'm excited. This is a body care product. I have no idea how it smells. It's a blind buy, but I'm gonna let y'all know. All right, so this is what I got. It's from 54 Thrones. I've been talking a lot about this brand. Well, not a lot, a lot, but a little bit more than usual because I've been really enjoying their hand cream. This is their Rapid Hydration and Barrier Repair Cream. And this one is in the scent Rose something. Moroccan Rose and Kenyan Hibiscus. This is a new scent. It's Moroccan Rose and Kenyan Hibiscus. I'm gonna have it linked below. First of all, first of all, the color, you guys. I had to do it. <laughs> Ooh, this smells good. Oh, this smells really nice. Oh, this feels really good. It definitely feels like something. This feels really good. It feels very luxurious and almost like a whipped uh, body butter. I love a good whipped body butter. This smell reminds me of something. This is what it looks like. Don't mind my fingerprint in here. Don't mind my nail. It smells familiar, but I can't put my finger on what it smells like, but it smells really good. This will pair really nicely with Ella Rose because they both have that rose scent. Oh, they're gonna go together so well. I cannot wait. I can't wait. I cannot wait to use these together. I'm typically such a vanilla girl. Like, I don't know what's going on. Maybe because I'm getting older, but I've been, but I've been really getting into these types of like scents. I don't know what it is. Like these just smell so elevated, feminine, grown. I love this. I do kind of wish the container was bigger. I thought it was going to be a little bigger, but it's okay. I feel like I should order another one because I'm going to go through this so quickly. It smells so good. morning it's thursday it is so cold wow anyways i'm trying to be up and about early today because i've been kind of procrastinating my mornings for the past few days so today i'm you know waking myself up i've been binge watching love island trying to catch up i finally caught up but now i'm like sleep deprived i'm gonna go grab some coffee i do want to stop at barnes and noble to see if they have the essence magazine with um beyonce for the sacred launch so i'm gonna go look for that and then i also need to get a shower rod mine broke 
um yesterday when we were putting up the uh, shower head but anyways hope you guys are having a good morning i actually was listening to a podcast last night actually that's what started my sleep deprivation <laughs> i was listening to a podcast the jay shetty podcast i listen to him pretty often and he was interviewing emma greedy emma greed i think that's how you say her name and she's a co-founder of oh hold on she's a go, she's the co-founder of good american and partner and founder of skims and safely and a whole bunch of other stuff she's done and so the interview was really really good i'll have it linked below or i'll just have a channel below if i can't yeah hopefully i remember <laughs> but definitely check out emma greed's interview on jay shetty's podcast really really good info really good insight for just life but if you're an entrepreneur i think it's a good podcast episode to listen to it's a lot of reassurance and a lot of just motivation within her story and just um a lot of great tips and i don't even think like she meant to give out tips but just hearing her story is just filled with different little tips and motivational um parts so yeah i really loved it i'm probably gonna listen to it again to be honest just because i enjoyed it so much and um i think it's like a good episode he has a lot of great interviews as well so you can check out his other interviews one of my favorite podcasts to listen to last time i recommended his podcast was when i listened to michelle obama so that one was a really good episode as well but anyways let us head out i want to actually be home pretty quickly i don't want to be out too long i have pilates today at two and i also need to film so i need to figure out what time i'm gonna like film at just got my coffee i went to roasted today i got a iced latte it's so good mm. so so good i was actually a little nervous about this being good because typically the owner makes the coffee i think he's the owner so there was someone else and i'm like oh i hope this is good but it's just as good and i go to barnes and noble because it's literally across the street and then from there we'll go to target yeah i swear nothing hurts my soul more than a thank you for your payment email <laughs> i just got um that from ritual which is uh for my vitamins i do three vitamins with them now my probiotics multivitamin and my omega-3s and i do the subscription because it makes it easier for me i don't have to remember to like constantly buy them it's just a lot easier and so um they just paid for like next month i guess and i'm like oh <laughs> uh, but it's good but it's good i've been really good about taking my vitamins i'm really proud of myself because that was one of my new year's resolutions and um I've been good about it. Hopefully they have the Essence magazine. I don't know where else I could possibly check. Maybe Target. I don't even think I really see many magazines at Target though. So I'm really just hoping Barnes & Noble has it because that would be great. Essence. <sighs> okay, maybe it's in this set. Oh, they do have essence, but this is not it. This is January, February. Oh, where is Beyonce? This is last month. Right, I'm back home. I got a new liner. I did go to Target actually um, after Barnes and Noble, and then I got the rod. So I'm just gonna put this up. Hopefully, my camera does not die because I don't feel like getting up. The battery is low, but I wanted to just do a quick unboxing. I have some PR stuff, but I also have a, another Sephora order. My hair looks crazy. I have it in a little claw clip in the back, but I have some stuff. I got PR from Makeup by Mario. What? I'm gonna show you guys what they sent me. This is the box here. It's a little, a little card. Basically, sent me this a real collection. So I have, a, sorry. <laughs> so um, I got a foundation. This is 24N. This is my shade in this foundation. I gotta switch my lights. Hold on. It's given. Um, oh, 
they are looking very yellow. Let's change this. Okay. That's better. Oh, I forgot. I literally got up to get chapstick and I completely forgot. Anyways, they sent me the foundation. I love this foundation. It's really, really nice. They also sent me a brush to apply it. I'm excited. I love a good brush. This is the F4. Ooh, oh my god, I'm excited. This is their most popular brush. I always see this brush. It's a double-ended brush. So exciting. Um, I literally only have an hour at home because then I have Pilates. So I'm, yeah. I'm a, little, I'm a little anxious right now. Uh, okay, so we have the Surreal Concealer. They sent me three shades. 460, 520, and 540. I'm not really sure what my shade is in this. I have a couple shades, but I don't remember. I don't remember what they are. I think I have 420. Let me see what this looks like. Maybe not. I don't know. For some reason, 420 sounds familiar. This is 460. This looks like... This looks like my complexion. I think this one's the one that I currently have, I think. I also included the conceal. Hold on, my CD. <sighs> okay. Alright. Yes, I do everything from my phone. <laughs> this is so embarrassing, but yes. I control the lights, the TV, like, girl. Alright, so this is the concealer brush F5. Well, I think it's the concealer brush. That only would make sense because they sent me all the concealers. Ooh, little brush here. Cute. By the way, it's literally 12.17 because I spent the past hour looking for the Beyonce magazine. Girl, I went to Barnes & Noble. They didn't have it. Like they had last month's issue. I was like, cool. I went to Target barely had any magazines most of the stores just have like the gossip stuff like people magazine and like those things those magazines so um i ended up getting the shower stuff at target then i was like all right i'm gonna check some drug stores i went to walgreens didn't have it barely had any magazines i went to cvs they didn't have anything <laughs> like probably like three magazines then i went to another cvs they actually had a decent Cult. No, they didn't. I went to another Walgreens. They had a different selection, a, a decent selection, the best out of all the ones I went to. Um, besides Barnes and Nobles, Barnes and Nobles has a huge selection, so they didn't have Essence. And then I went to another CVS, didn't have any. I went to four drugstores and Barnes and Nobles plus Target, six places to look for this. Yeah, I can't believe it. Like it kind of reminded me that I no longer live in the city. Like this is not the city. <laughs> Because why do they not have Essence Magazine anywhere? That's crazy. Anyways, I also got some stuff from Cali Ray. I love Cali Ray. Their primer is one of my favorites. This is primer. They sent me a new primer. They also sent me the Hydrated Glossy Glassy Lip Plumper. Actually, I'm going to put this on because my lips are actually a little dry. And then this is their mascara. So me these three things i think there was something else in that box but i don't know what i did with it um i love the packaging on this this is so pretty the packaging i'm a sucker for good packaging this is so nice this feels very um silky i'm gonna live it on for a little bit and see if it does anything to my lip that's what i got from cali ray then i got this package from kiehl's here and I thought it was so cool. It says your new SPF. I don't know if you guys can see that. So they did send me a new SPF. It says UV protection meets skincare, corrects uneven skin tone and texture, boosts radiance, invisible finish, helps visibly correct signs of aging, suitable on top or under makeup. On top of makeup? For all skin types, including acne prone, which is definitely something i look for in a sunscreen because yeah i don't want to activate anything my acne has been pretty good you guys and um i will say i haven't been using my tretinoin as often as i used to like honestly at this point i probably use it once a month if i see like a crazy breakout not even crazy but if i see some breaking out going around that is um 
uh, what you call it? This is tingly. Very tingly. <laughs> it just got activated. Alright, so yeah, if I see some breaking out happening, usually like, if I eat something I'm not supposed to, I'll see it. I will use retinoin, but I haven't been using it as often as I used to, and I think it's because my diet has changed so much since last year, since going on my journey, and also, um, I've been taking my supplements, I also... Yeah, I think it's really diet and supplements. I really, those are the two things that I changed that would help with my acne. Because I haven't had to take, um, I haven't had to use my tretinoin as much, which is crazy. Because, like, I remember a time where I was literally using it every single day. Like, I had to use it. But now, once in a while, I use it, but not as often. And I know tretinoin is something that you kind of have to use pretty regularly for, for it to be in your face. Like, in your system, kind of. So... I don't know, you know, the benefit of me doing it like that, but I do feel like it still helps. Y'all, this is so tingly. Wait, hold on. Is it working? Like, it's really, like, it feels like it's going, like it's doing some stuff in my lips. Anyways, um, yeah, I don't know if it, you know, I don't know if the benefits are there using it once a month. I'm going to have to do some research because I feel like last time I checked, you have to use it consistently. But, um, yeah, I'm happy about that. Anyways, I'm going to try... Oh, they sent me a, a travel size as well. That's cool. So I'm going to try this out. When does this expire? When they go out sunscreen, they do expire. And I used to be that person who would buy a million sunscreens. And it really makes no sense to do that because they expire. I have a bunch of sunscreens that expire next month. So I must have been buying a lot of sunscreens last year around this time. Because I was looking through my stuff... And I'm seeing all these sunscreens that expire in March. Well, literally tomorrow. This one is SPF 50 and it has collagen peptides or... Yeah, just... Yeah, collagen. This one has... Co <laughs> this one has collagen in there. So I'm excited for this. Thank you, Kiehl's. Thank you, Kelly Ray. And then I got some stuff. I'll show you all the PR first. And then I got a couple... Um, perfumes in PR as well. From Ellis Brooklyn. I was so shocked when they emailed DM'd me or email. I forget, I forget what, which one it was. I think they emailed me. So this is Ellis Brooklyn. They sent they had me pick. They sent me a sheet and I picked these two. Now this one I remember seeing Jackie Ina recommend this for somebody's wedding. They were she was saying like if you're gonna have a beachy I forgot who she made that video for. It was someone specific. And it was kind of like if you oh I know who it was. It was Michaela on TikTok. She was saying like her, her her fragrance recommendations based on wedding themes and she recommended this one for a beachy wedding and I remember seeing it and writing it down as something I want to try eventually I never smelled it at Sephora I, I just I guess I guess I must have forgotten but I did spray I did spray this on last night when I tell you this is like you're frolicking on the beach in the sand with your man your man your man Girl, this literally smells like I want to hold... You know those pictures? You know those old commercials from like sandals and the couples like running on the beach? This is what this reminds me of. I feel like I want to be frolicking on the beach with my man wearing this, wearing this perfume. Like, it smells so good. Yeah. Also, there are like layers to it. Like at first, you're kind of like, mm. then you're like, oh. And then you're like, oh. Like, you know, I feel like there's some layers to it. At first, I was kind of like, hmm, this is kind of giving a little granny. I'm going to be using this heavy in the summer. I'm going to the beach this summer. I'm going to be wearing this. The pool, whatever, I'm wearing this. And then I picked out this one. This one was actually in my Revolve cart for a while because it was really popular, I think, last summer. I don't know why I didn't end up getting it. Sometimes I, ha y'all, have so many things in different shopping carts that sometimes I gotta like pick and prioritize. So this one I didn't end up purchasing, but I definitely had it in my cart. Just off of the description, I thought it sounded really good. Again, I don't think I ever smelled it besides yesterday. When I this is frolicking on the beach. This, if you picture like. How would I describe this is literally summer in a bottle like like this just smells like summertime like when I think of summer this is the smell that I would think of it's a beautiful magical summer scent these two together 
have me covered for summer. I feel like the girl who emailed me saw me pick these two and she was probably like, she's ready for summer because this is definitely given summer all the way. I'm so thankful. Thank you, Ellis Brooklyn, for sending me these. I'm so excited to have these in my collection. I will most definitely be using them in the summertime. I love these scents. And this one I think is going to pair really well with some of my other summer like beachy scents. I think there's a Byredo scent that I have that would go really well with this one for sure. So I'm excited for these two. And then I did order some stuff on Sephora. Had, um, my birthday was last this month and so I had Sephora's options for birthday gift were different packages but then they also have the option of just adding 250 points to your points i think it's 250 so i don't really care for any of the birthday gifts so i took the points option because i feel like that was to me most worth it but i already had like 400 points so i ended up getting a 10 dollars off coupon when i added the points in so i was like okay let's order some more stuff <laughs> i only got a couple things though so let me show y'all I was mostly looking at the new things to see like what was new, what I wanted to try, and um, so okay. first thing I got is a volumizing hairspray. I got this because I want to style my hair and curl it and do all these things and I figure I can use a hairspray to help with that and this is new from Dry Bar. I do like Dry Bar products so I figure I would try this. And usually their stuff smells pretty good so let me spray for whenever i decide to do my hair in some curls to help them last longer and then i picked up this perfume this is from seven virtues seven virtues and i got their newest scent called amber vanilla i love vanilla wood that's one of my favorite vanilla scents and they came out with this new one i have smell i have smelled their other vanilla i think it's like I forget what it's called vanilla something else santal maybe i don't really like it as much but this one people were saying it smells really really good so i want to see how it smells and they don't have it in sephora yet so i had to order it online but are you ready am i ready wait hold on girl not to be dramatic but this is beautiful if you like vanilla if you like vanilla add this to your cart that's all i'm gonna say add this, i'm getting the full size this smells so good this is one of the beautifulest vanillas i've smelled in a while it's like vanilla woods with a twist like if you like vanilla woods you're gonna love this it's beautiful i need more i need um a bigger bottle i'm so happy i got the travel size i'm so happy it's a spray um this smells so good i'm gonna definitely post this on my stories because i need the girls to know i need y'all to know now like right now <laughs> so i'm gonna go do that and then and it's oh my gosh i forgot to put out the salmon for tonight I need to put out, actually, Johnny has like a meeting today, so I think I'm going to just not cook. Yeah, I think I'm going to not cook today because <laughs> he's probably going to get home late and mm, yeah, maybe we won't cook today. Anyways, I'm going to touch y'all later. My camera battery is literally has a slash on it, so bye. All right, so I just got two Pilates. I'm about to put my hair in a little scrunchie because I'm going to be laying on that table. Or bed, whatever you call it, the reformer. Uh, also, I gotta put my socks on because I just stuff them in my pocket. <sighs> Where are my socks? Also, gotta put on my socks. I use these socks from Aloe. I really like them. I actually need to get a couple more socks. I'm actually so tired you guys like I was fine up until like 30 minutes ago I just got so tired like which makes sense because I literally didn't sleep much last night but it just hit me like so hopefully I don't fall asleep in this class <laughs> laying on this bed it's not that comfy so I'm not gonna fall asleep but girl 
I was like, whoa, I'm so tired. All of a sudden, I just felt so tired. I like to sit in the back because in my mind, I'm like, I'm going to record this on my little gimbal. But the most I've gotten is my phone because it's a little easier and not as noticeable. But one day, I will get a nice little recording. Let me just see if this has any battery life. It does. Okay. I'm gonna attempt I'm gonna attempt to use this today. Hopefully I get to my spot. Get some of this. I'm gonna use this. By the way, the Cali Ray lip oil thing, thumper, lip gloss, so good. I didn't bring it, I left it at home, but it's so good. It definitely plumps my lips. Wow, I was impressed when I realized like how much plumping it did. I was definitely impressed. Definitely, um, you know, some, some of the plumpers work, some are just kind of like gimmicky. But that one is one of those that actually does work, I must say. All right, let's go. I don't want to be late. Back down. We'll do that four more times. Okay, exhale to your bridge. Inhale to lower. Lower your body back down. Great. Squeeze those lower abs. Start to wiggle the one set. You can always switch out your weights. We are going to be on. Okay, your arms are straight. Getting on a tight as you close your arms. I literally almost died in Pilates today not even exaggerating you guys like I was so caught off guard I signed up for a cardio class beginner cardio class and I'm like okay like it's gonna be like the other classes but cardio no mm -mm. first of all the setup was a little different so my thankfully my neighbor helped me with like the footboard and all that stuff and then we had to use weights so I'm like okay I'll get five pound dumbbells light work no next time i'm getting two pound dumbbells because i usually like when i'm at the gym i'm usually like um what do you call it curling i usually curl with like 15 to 20 pound dumbbells but i don't do cardio with dumbbells like i do weightlifting. this was different this was intense i <laughs> girl i was sweating girl i was sweating okay like and so one day i didn't bring water i was like oh i don't need water usually i bring water but i don't really drink much because i don't need to when i tell you my throat was literally dry i could feel the, the i could feel my throat like sandpaper it was so dry <laughs> i was so thirsty oh my gosh like, it was good though i definitely want to do it again and i told myself like i'm gonna challenge myself to five pounds again because it was like a challenge but i still want to do it it was intense it was good it was amazing anyways i did get a little tea um 
I did go to Paris Baguette because it's like across the street to get a little um, iced tea because girl when I tell you thirsty mm -mm. I should get water but the iced tea sounded better hmm. also I don't eat today besides coffee so I feel like I really felt it mm -mm. all right we're gonna go to Barnes and Nobles again I checked the CVS next to the Pilates studio they didn't have any um, of the essence magazines but they had a nice selection I actually picked up a uh, Mediterranean magazine, a cooking light. I cannot believe how out of breath I am. I literally am like gasping for air. <laughs> it's insane. I do need to do some emails. I need to plan out tomorrow's video. I'm across the street from a car wash. It's probably really loud. So I'm going to get out of here, go to Barnes and Nobles, and I will talk to y'all later. Girl. <laughs> they got me <laughs> they got me good all right it's so loud outside but i'm about to go get the car tinted it's a little later i'm gonna drop it off it's gonna take a few hours so it's gonna take some time but yeah we're gonna do that now all right so my amazon packages just came in the first thing i got were these things for the airpods so i'm gonna try i'm gonna see how they look but i also got this tray and you guys how pretty is this? I cannot believe this is on Amazon. Um, yeah, everything, it will be in my storefront for sure. But I got this for my bathroom. Like this is so pretty. You could put this anywhere, your coffee table, your bathroom, your room, like wherever you want to add, you know, a nice tray. And um, I think it's really nice. I actually got it because I am doing a, I actually got it to put my, I actually got it to put some products on for a video that I wanted to film like my hair video so I wanted to put the products on a nice tray and I thought this would be I thought this would be really nice to put the stuff on so that's why I got this tray and I think it's so beautiful like it looks even better in person to be honest and um, they come in different colors but I really wanted this color because I have a lot of things in the lighter like beige shades but this one it looks very luxurious. I feel like it's going to look really nice in the video. I ordered one more thing, I believe, but it's coming in tomorrow. So, and my robe should be here soon. I'm excited about my robe. I ordered my robe from Pottery Barn. So, let's try these on. I don't really know. I'm not really too... Okay. Let's put this over. I think you just... I think you just put this over here. I'm not really sure. All right, so this is what they look like. Cute. I like them. Cutesy. Good morning. It's Saturday. It is cold, rainy. Ugh. Today gives me the ick. <laughs> I'm actually gonna go to Target right now because I need to grab. Um, I need to grab a shower caddy. I'm gonna go with Callie. She's getting dressed right now, but yeah it is kind of cold i don't know why i have my coat though so i'm gonna put that on but yeah i feel like i don't know where i left off the vlog yesterday i don't even think i vlogged much yesterday but basically i had to go get um my new used car tinted my mom gave me her car my mom gave me her other car so i am kind of like sprucing it up giving it a facelift and just um doing that so we did a little we did a tent yesterday looks really good and we're just gonna add some things to it to like customize it and so forth and so forth so anyways i hope you guys are having a good day i'm actually a little hungry so maybe we'll get some like green maybe i'll get matcha or something and dune came out oh my gosh like johnny and i loved the movie dune and dune 2 came out last night i completely forgot it was coming out so maybe we'll do that i don't know i don't mind the packaging y'all i literally ripped this apart before i remembered i wanted to show you guys this is the robe that i ordered from pottery barn um this is this is the info. It's a lightweight resort robe. 
I'm gonna have it linked but I am so excited to have this because I've always wanted these types of like hotel robes on the inside it has like this terry material which is gonna be nice after a shower so yeah I'm excited to have this I need to double check to make sure the sleeves are what I was looking for because a lot of these have short a lot of these have shorter sleeves okay the sleeves are actually a regular length a lot of these have shorter sleeves so they'll stop like right here these are pretty much full length sleeves I believe so I'm excited I got a size small which should fit and yes yeah, my new robe I do want to get a thicker one as well because they have the thicker options this is a lightweight one but for now I figure I'll start with this one and I love the uh, waffle as well hey y'all just got done filming another video I just recorded this clip three times so hopefully I can get it right Johnny gave me well let me borrow his camera it's the same one as this but it's like newer so I feel like it's more crispy but anyways this camera has been acting funny like every time I press the record button like not every time but sometimes it will just stop recording and delete the entire clip so yeah there's that anyways I just did a video I had to do a sponsor video so I did that and I want to put you guys onto this spray because I mentioned it a couple weeks ago, but um, I never got to fully use it. Yesterday, I did my full wash day routine and I used this. My camera was not foggy at all. So if you're a content creator and you're looking for something that won't, um, that you can use on your camera if you're doing like an in shower or some type of video like that, this spray is really, really good. So I definitely recommend this and also this one if you're just looking to clean your lens i use this one as well both of these are in my amazon i also tried sacred's entire line except i don't have a conditioner because she didn't launch one yet but i do have the deep conditioner and i shared it with you guys in that video so it should be up on tuesday i'm pretty sure that will be not sponsored and then the sponsored video is going to be up later i'm not sure whenever um Whenever they approve it, I don't know, but excuse me. Also, I got a PR package from Mac. <laughs> it always like excites me when I get a PR package from Mac, and certain companies like just really excite me because those are brands that I've been using for years. But they sent me some new stuff, and then also the velvet. No, it's just called Teddy 2.0. I was looking for this for a while because one of you guys had told me to get it, and for whatever reason, I could not find that lipstick. So. I was so excited when I saw it in the box and I actually put it on today. It's really, really nice. It's like one of their powder lipsticks. I was looking at Ulta. I should have checked the Mac store when I went last week, but I completely forgot. Um, but it's really, really pretty. I'm so happy I have it. The, um, the box. I'll show you guys what's in here. So they sent me two shadows. This is Wedge and Taupe. Um satin taupe these two shades they both look really nice this is an eye curl in the shade teddy here this is simulation it's one of their like glossy sticks i've never tried these but i remember they were really really popular last year i want to try it on i'm gonna put a little bit this kind of looks like the juvia's place ones i love the juvia's place ones i wonder Oh, this is nice. Like this. It's very similar. They're literally like identical. They even feel the same. Like they have a minty, tingly feel. Yeah, this is simulation. So thank you, Mag. I feel like I got some nice PR this week. And I got some stuff from Dibs as well, which is a brand that I've heard about but never really bought anything from. So I got some stuff from Dibs, which I did put on their this stick today. It's a blush and bronzer stick i used the bronzer today um i thought it was really nice it's really nice rich color they sent me two shades of this the other shade is even deeper but i'll get more into that i think i want to do like a try on video trying on some new products to have some new makeup so i'll get more into that in that video so i am wearing the robe from pottery barn i really really like it i wore it straight out the shower and it basically acts kind of like a towel like it's really nice really comfy i did my hair well while wearing it and I really love it. This is how long the sleeves are. Basically full length. You can monogram and customize this robe if you want to. I didn't because I wanted it now. But I think I told you guys I wanted to get the thicker one as well for like 
when I want a thicker robe. That one I will customize whenever I do get it. Because I definitely, definitely love this robe. I did want to give my little thoughts on Love is Blind because they, yeah, everybody, I feel like everybody's situation is crazy. But I'm going to wait till next week because I want to see what happens next week. I'm very curious about certain people, especially like AD and Clay. Like I love them both, I feel like, but together no like i just think that he's not ready and she's forcing it but i also jimmy and what's her name girl they both gaslight each other it's absolutely insane so yeah i want to see what happens with that and then also <laughs> everybody's talking about kenneth and Brittany, but like i kind of felt like from the beginning it, it just felt a little too, you know, when something just seems a little bit too perfect, like, uh, it just seemed like a little bit too, like, I don't know. But um, that scene with him on the boat, just in silence, like, you haven't watched and you don't know what I'm talking about, but, like, it is hilarious because I'm like, what's going on? I did see somebody um, do an interview. I think it was Jess that said that they had already decided at that point. So that's why it looked like that from his point. And they just had to refilm or they had to film anyway, even though they had already made that decision. So if that's true, then it makes sense because it would mean that basically he was kind of like being... Like, he didn't know how to act, and then she was doing a really good job at acting, so it made it look really awkward, but I don't know. Either he should have just acted up with it, or they should have just said no. He should have just said no, because, I don't know, it just looked... <laughs> if you've seen it, you know what I mean. Anyways, y'all, I'm about to turn this off, edit, and I'm going to see you guys in the comment section tonight. Thanks for watching.